Crow's anger management sessions are going well, and he's finding all sorts of ways of expressing his inner gorilla. When he's not attacking foliage with his chopper, he's climbing it, not because he can, but because it's going to attract the passing pigeons. When should you use pigeon decoys in a tree, Crow? Uh, when there ain't no leaves on it. Brilliant, thanks for that. When do you use lofters in a tree? Well, I use them all the right way through the winter. It always helps out if the pigeons are passing, it just draws them in a bit, draws their attention. They see that, see the decoys, so it always helps. Um, today, they've been, like I say, they've been feeding on the drilling just over the back here, so I want to try every, every way I can to try and pull them this way. So, um, so if, if it means putting half a dozen up in the top of a tree to help things along, I'm going to. So. These are high poles that have come from the UK shoot warehouse. They sent them to me. They work well as it goes. They're a bit stronger than normal ones and they're not so whippy when they're up in the tree because it's always hard to get them to hook where you want them. When you're up there, and it's like a, like a fishing rod, so. But no, so these are, these are a bit more rigid. All this time and effort is all to do with crop protection and pest control. So, why are we on a cut maize cover crop which has already had its day? I've done a bit of spring drilling up over the top of the, or just over the back of the hedge here. The pigeons have been feeding on the spring drilling and on this maize cover crop which was topped probably a fortnight ago. It's been shot a couple of times. The lads have had a, the beaters have had a few good days on it, so they've had a bit of fun. I come and watched it the other day, and there was a bit of a flight line coming from the spring drilling. They come down this uh, avenue of trees, and they cut through a gap here. The wind's not ideal today, burst in their face, but it's not the end of the world. At least it's not sunny; otherwise, we'd be facing the sun all day. So, uh, if you look, if you come here and look now, you think, "Oh, it's not worth setting up here." There's not a pigeon here. There weren't many here when we got here, but they don't usually feed on the maize till late anyway. Right, so we have everything where it needs to be, but no pigeons. It's unnerving. Normally you would get a hint that it is worth sticking around, but not yet. Instead we cover some outstanding business, such as Crow's new clear pigeon shell. Where is it? And Crow's young fox red lab, Rosa. How is she shaping up? Yeah, she's covering on a right as it goes. She's very different from Ruby. Oh, no comparison really. Totally different dog. Chilled out in the hide, she's not bothered at all. As soon as you get her out of the hide, she's straight on it, she's got a brilliant nose. But no, she's only, well, she was a year old this week, so. Get on, get on, get on. She's retrieving in, in standing wheat, some of our wheat's probably foot 18 inches. Come here, come here. Come here. Um, come here. And I shot some pigeons the other day, just flighting, just, just with her, playing with her, really. And I shot some, and she worked, 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 worked and worked until she found them. But no, she's, she's coming on really well, really happy with her. Where's the uh, crow powered clear pigeon then? It is coming, I spoke to Game Boy yesterday. Um, they're just in the process of sorting it out now. I will be on the phone again. Keep chasing them up. Um, you know, I'm just using the last couple of boxes of my test cart, which is uh, once they're gone, I, sh I should be straight on the phone and chase them up a bit on, on one laser. Well, it won't be mine, it's Bank Holiday, so it'll be Tuesday, so. But as far as I know, we're in the net. By the end of, uh, end of the month, they're saying at the moment. <laughs> okay, the shells are coming, and Rosa is coming on. Now all we need are some pigeons coming to the decoys, arboreal or on terra firma. Are working in the tree then? Yeah, they're, they're working in the tree. I left that one so you can see that it, how they come to it. And Matt just down the way, he had a shot and pigeon went out the other way, so I couldn't get on it. But I hope be there another day when it probably come back in a minute. No, I'm glad we stuck, stuck it out. There was a time there, it didn't look very good. But I didn't expect them to come later. Plus, uh, Les put a banger out on another bit of maize. That they were on, on and another bit of drilling they were on, and it's, it's kept them moving. The wind got up, and then they 
been flying pretty, pretty fast as they've been coming through. I've had some nice shots. One or two silly misses, but hey ho. He said it would be late, and he was right. We get plenty of shots on the shot cam. We thought it might be interesting to try and judge just how much lead Crow is giving for birds at a certain range. We will try and do this more scientifically next time, but if we use bird lengths as our scale, it does appear that over a range of 25 to 50 yards, which is where Andy is shooting most of his birds, there are between two and six bird lengths of lead. Other factors will come into play, such as the speed of the pigeons and the gun and angle, but it shows that at no point was Crow's barrel pointing at the bird. Leaving the target is difficult for anyone starting to shoot with a shotgun, but if you don't, your family will starve and the pigeons will mock you. Maybe not, but you get the point. So back to Crow's maze day, and it's finally good, despite some doubting Thomases and doubting Davids. Moment now, even I was worried, but the thing is with maze, if they've been pressured a bit, they don't feed, feed till late. They know they can come here and top up a bit quick. So there's nothing in the crop at the moment? Not a single, not a single grain in any of them, whether it be sun corn or anything, or, or clover, they've got nothing in them at all. But at the time now it's about half par five, quarter to six. There's still odd ones to about, so. Crow has held his nerve and found the force. With a bag of 67 and a crow, it isn't half bad, and if he can't be bothered climbing back up the tree for those deeks, he can always go all King Kong crow on us and pound the ground and rattle them from the branches.